Okay, now here we are to true Texas food, beans and cornbread. Bring it on. Not get any more Texas than beans and cornbread. Okay. Cornbread we're going to make here and kind of show you how to put it together. The beans we'll talk about because it takes about seven hours to cook in a crock pot. You throw it all in and forget about it basically. So let's start with the cornbread. Right. So we're going to start with one and three quarters cup of yellow cornmeal, which I've already got measured out here. Okay. And then we're going to do half a teaspoon of baking soda. All right. Boom. And then a teaspoon of salt. This is another toughie, I see. This is another toughie. Okay. Yeah. I'm measuring a little bit here since it All is right. kind of... There we go. We're going to do a cup of grated cheddar cheese. Love it. Nothing says loving like cheddar. Yeah. Or cheddar. Cheddar. Our likes to say. <laughs> cheddar cheese. <laughs> All right. And then we are going to do a teaspoon of baking soda. And this is all just our little cornbread -y. This is very Texas-y. It said? is very texas -y. We're adding yeah. some cheese and jalapenos to really kick it up a notch and, you know, make okay. it taste yummy. Um, but you can do this with traditional cornbread, too. A lot of times they serve beans over the cornbread. I am not a fan of them together. I, I actually am not even a fan of biscuits and gravy, which is probably I'm going to get my Texas roots revoked. <laughs> But I like them separate. I like okay. them. I like okay. them separate. So anyway, so we're going to do uh, three uh, third a third cup of oil, and then a cup of buttermilk. A cup of buttermilk. There yep. you go. There buttermilk you go. is very perfect. Texas. It is. Yeah. Okay. Couple of eggs. Here we go. You want to start oh, mixing that around, and I'll sure. crack some eggs in there for you. Okay. Here we are. Um, I have to say, I've never really made my own cornbread. I always go straight out of the bag. <laughs> it's not hard, though. I mean, seriously. Yeah, well, it's, there's it's just, really not. Now there's I'm not too lazy. much to it. Okay. All right. Well, it looks good. Got to tell you. Yeah, I, I was, um, we were talking about this earlier, and I was like, nobody makes their own cornbread. Everybody just buys the mix, and here we are. And the shortcut <laughs> making girl cornbread. actually making cornbread. That's right. And then we're going to dump in about three or four jalapenos chopped. Okay. Ooh, this looks good. Smell it. Mm, it does. It smells good. It smells good. Smells good. All right. So and then I buttered uh, a pan. You can use oil, butter, whatever you want to do to grease the pan. And then you just dump it in. Okay. Well, that couldn't have been easier. That's right. All right. So what do we have coming up next there, Yen? Now we're going to do beans. Okay. Now, the bean recipe that I, that I use, I actually have to say I did it for the first time uh, this weekend. It's called ranch style beans, and I did that for a very specific reason. Ranch style beans are a canned bean that is my all time favorite in Texas. You can't find it here most of the time. But if you go to a restaurant, a barbecue restaurant in Texas, they don't even make them themselves. They open okay. up a can and it's ranch style beans. But we had to do it old school here and we did it homemade. So basically, you take uh, a package of beans, 16 ounce thing of beans, uh, put it in, rinse them, put it in a crock pot, and put uh, cover it with water and put two tablespoons of either um, apple cider vinegar or lemon juice and soak it overnight. Okay. Next morning, rinse off the beans, dump them back in the crock pot in a skillet, um, saute an onion for about 10 minutes, medium sized onion, then six cloves, six cloves of garlic, throw that in there for another minute. Okay. Then you get out your blender or your food processor because we're, this is, what we're making is chili gravy to cook the beans in. Alrighty. So you get the food processor, dump in the onions and the garlic, and then either whole tomatoes or tomato sauce. I did tomato sauce, it's just easier. It's what I had on hand. There you go. And then a laundry list of, of spices, cumin, oregano, ancho chili powder, paprika, um, beef broth, you can put it all together, yeah. dump it in, seven hours, that's it. I was gonna say, all of this is that's available it. on the it's website. It's so easy, yeah, all the measurements are, it's really easy. It's, it's, you know, it's a fairly long list of ingredients, but they're so easy. And then it's you just, just get these delicious beans sitting in this awesome. yummy kind of broth. My parents were in town from Texas this weekend, I served it to them, thumbs up. All right, well Big there you time. go, from True Texans. That's right. Eat up.